it's been a day-to-day -day process. You know, everybody's still um, a little bit in a learning process, but we're we're working hard every day. You know, we're looking forward to to being able to play. You know, this Sunday leading into our you know our home opener uh, next Friday night. But it's been a day-to-day -day process. It's been um, you know good days, bad days, but more good than bad. And the young kids are are picking things up rather quickly. Well, yeah, they're adjusting well. I always say to coach, it's kind of like an oxymoron. We lost a lot, but we still have a lot. And we're young, but not inexperienced. So we have a lot of experience, but we are still a young team. So we're learning to lead and helping them bring them along, and they're following us, which they're doing a great job of. Um, I think it's just more about setting example again. They came in here not knowing like how a D1 team is, and we had to set example from day one in the summer until the first day of our game. So last year, ending the season, you know, we finished strong, which is good. We got all that momentum. So from the end of the season to now, that momentum has just been carrying us over. So we're able to keep our flow going. And even though we have a lot of new players, they're picking it up pretty quick. So we're able to just keep the flow going. Yeah, it's, it's hard to simulate that every day in practice. So, you know, we had our scrimmage last weekend and we'll have our exhibition. So those are good kind of dress rehearsals for them to get used to the speed. Um, you know, going against somebody else, I think you can get comfortable in practice going against each other every single day. So um, this past Saturday and this upcoming Sunday are really important for our newcomers to get a really solid feel for what we're trying to do and the pace we're trying to do it at. Yeah, when we first started, it was tough, like just playing pickup and stuff you don't realize how much you kind of miss. I didn't think getting like winded in shape was too, too bad coming back, but just paying attention, being more focused and getting back in the game like mindset was probably the toughest part for me. But I think, yeah, I mean, the coaches and my other teammates helped me out so much, so I'm ready to go. I go back and watch film like when I like fouled out in games or if I had 2,000 first half and I look at how I'm positioned, I act sticks of how I'm positioned and um, I just work on staying low most of the time because our conditioning uh, chip he tries us to stay low and have no hands on people so that's what I train for. So it's definitely an important role to me and especially on the team because between uh, Lexi Sover and Camilla Hoskova we have to be the voice of the team and lead the new players so last year was definitely from freshman year to sophomore year I was able to work on my voice and speaking up more so this year it I don't want to say it came natural but I almost kind of knew that it was coming, so I was able to work through it last year. Our home opener being a doubleheader, the only one of the year, it's kind of exciting. Um, you know, we're going to have a lot of fun night that night, which is an organization that we're really um, proud to be a part of and, and to get the word out on how this lot of fun helps so many different organizations from drug and alcohol abuse to our veterans to our young people throughout the city of Philadelphia and up through Central Jersey so we're happy to help them get the word out about their fund happy to help them raise some money for a great cause. Group part is probably getting ready for our first game like scrimmaging and practicing against the practice players the guys and um, watching film on the team that's my favorite part. Favorite part of preseason? I'll probably the scrimmage just because for me, I haven't played in a while. I was so excited to start playing. So I can't wait for us to get ready and get games going. Yeah, I mean, you know, the opening game is coming up quick. It's against Bucknell, a very good basketball team, a preseason number one pick in the Patriot. Um, you know, so we're up for a big challenge right off the bat. But that's what we want. We want to challenge this young team. We want to see where we are. We want to see what we can do and who we can do it against and, and hopefully build our, build our confidence and build our our game speed, build what we do on a day-to-day -day basis to prepare us when we play in the MAC after Christmas.